हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल सिविल थ्री डी प्रो डिजाइनर है टुडे वी हैव एक्सरसाइज नंबर फाइव विच इज फाइनल एक्सरसाइज फॉर चैप्टर नंबर टेन दैट हाउ कैन वी मेक सैम्पलिंग फॉर अदर सोर्सेज इन सेक्शन व्यू इट मीन दैट हाउ कैन वी इम्पोर्ट अदर सर्फेसिस टू शो दैम इन क्रॉस सेक्शन व्यू वन बाय वन these sample can be our surfaces existing surface design surface and pipe network also so sampling more sources in autocad civil 3d section view uh, we can use corridors corridor surface uh, corridor surfaces uh, to show them in cross section view but what about other sources of data it turns out that sample line can also slice through surfaces and pipe network in this uh, exercise we will learn that how to sample and display data from these sources in addition we will learn how can we add more sources of data to our established set of sample lines and uh, section views so we don't have to start over when new data become available exercise number 5 sample more sources in section views before starting if you are new on my youtube channel please subscribe civil 3d pro designer and you can uh, start from chapter number 1 if you are looking for complete course of autocad civil 3d you can also access me through my facebook page civil 3d pro designer where you can get many more material and real time projects concept for autocad civil 3d so it's very important exercise you must need to follow each step because we are going to do something new in cross section views in autocad civil 3d we will add some more data sources to our drawing sample them and show them in our section views step number 1 open the drawing named sample more sources you can get these drawing are other spotted material for this exercise in the description link i have already open sampling more sources drawing we have three view ports you can see we have also cross section which we was created in the previous exercise step number 2 click one of the section view in the upper right view port and then click sample more sources on the ribbon when we will click on any one section it will open contextual tab of civil 3d and we need to click on sample more sources because we are going to add something in our section views it will open section sources dialog box step number 3 3 click eg under available sources available sources we have here here we have four available sources and we need now eg then click add it will add to our sample sources sections step number 4 under sample sources verify that the style of eg is set to existing ground because eg should be existing ground not design so it's already existing ground if you want to change you can go like this and you can select any one accordingly step number 5 verify that section source dialog box look like figure 10.10 and then click okay yes our dialog box is already look like that we can click okay it will little pause and then show a red line here it is a red dashed line 
added to each section view. This line represents the surface of the existing ground. In addition, a default label set has been applied uh, to existing ground line which is not appropriate for this application. So we have some labels which we don't want to show them on each cross section so we will remove them in some next step step number six with the section view which is already selected click view group properties on the ribbon view group properties uh, sorry here we have VA. view group properties so step number seven on the section tab if you are on section view or sheet you need to go on section tab then in the label set column next to eg label set column here next to eg when you will click it will open select label set step number Hit select no labels and click OK. Click OK again to close the section view group property dialog box and return to drawing. When you will click here OK and again you will click OK. These all labels will be off because we had set label set as no label. Step number 9 in the top right viewport zoom into the first section view 0 plus 0 10 here we have top right viewport and when you will zoom out you can see 0 plus 0 10 cross section in the lower left corner of the first sheet yes it is the first sheet lower left corner and pen upward and examine each section with when you get to the top of the column move to the bottom of the next column and pan upward to continue beyond the section in this order because we have beginning station 0 plus 0 10 and we will go like this above above and we will examine our con our existing surface and propose corridor propose assembly and here when this line will be fixed we will go like here and then go down again when this line will be finished and we will go like this and we will examine each section to understand about our existing surface and how it is collaborated with our design so step number 10 on the insert tab of the ribbon click land xml you can see here insert and here we have land xml browse to the chapter 10 class data folder and select preliminary water line and click ok here we have preliminary water line this file i will also provide you and when you will download you can go to your computer and you can find your preliminary water line file it is actually xml file and in this step you will select from your own device click open Step number 11, click OK to dismiss the import legend XML dialog box. OK, it will take some time and show you another surface. Oh, sorry, it was a water line actually and new pipe network represent the preliminary design of the water line along the Jordan court uh, alignment if we uh, if you zoom in the plan view of Jordan court you can see the double 
blue line along the right side of uh, Jordan court we can check it out yes we have this blue line it's our pipe line and now we are going to show our pipeline in our cross section views step number 12 click one of the section view and then click sample more sources on the ribbon i will go in the left viewport and select any uh, section view you must need to select complete section view not any line or design so here we have simple more surfaces it will open and now step number 13 in the section view section sources dialog box click pre preliminary waterline and then click OK, add same like before click ok to close the dialog box here we will select preliminary water design and click add so you can see here we have we already add our preliminary water design in our sections we will click ok it will take little time step number 14 press escape to clear the section of section views and now we can zoom and examine the section view to verify that our valid uh, water line being shown you can examine your each uh, cross section and you can find your water line in each section view that how it is showing with that step number 15 use the land xml command to import subsurface rock xml it's another surface and we need to go land xml again and you can find subsurface rock i will also provide you this file and you can find and click open click ok again it will take some time and then release now use the simple more sources command to add the new surface name rock to the section view set its style to rock yes we can do that we already know how can we sample our source select section go to sample more sources and here you can see subsurface as a rock you select rock and go to add and style it should be rock okay select rock and then click ok ok and you will see here a line of rock oh sorry it will take some time to show each section so here we have two lines so that and when you will hover your cursor on each line it will give you that which one is our existing line and which one is our rock step number 16 once again we need to clear the levels because the rock line has some level now we will click section view and then click view group properties on the ribbon section view view group properties and then step number 17 click edit in the level set column next to rock select no level set and click ok and click ok again to return to your drawing here we have rock level set it should be no ok and then press ok to finish these Level now you can see here we have no any extra level. Step number 18 study the section views again. In a real life situation, uh, you may need to inform that the engineer that the water line design requires the exhibition, some cutting, some fillings, or uh, significant amount of rock. Also, notice that around 
station 0 plus 27 we need to find 0 plus 27 here okay our rock layer is very close to the surface yes our rock layer is very close to the surface so we must need to make little rise for our uh, road surface which will enough to cut and fill or something like construction <laughs> step number 19 save and close your drawing hope you like this video it was really important for any uh, civil 3d expert civil 3d drafter to know that how can we import our sample to section views in autocad civil 3d